let me do a couple of these traces just to make sure you know the way that they're supposed to be done. So we'll do number one and number two. Number one, go down through looking for our first variable is right here. It's an int. It's called number. So we write number. And we'll keep track of number. Right now, it has no value, no initial value. So fair enough, we just write number and that's, that's it. Um, we look through, enter six. Okay, they're gonna enter six, but that's not a variable. That's just what they're gonna enter. Scanner, scanner's a variable too, but there's no need to keep track of that. Number, number becomes scanner next int. So if they type six, number is gonna become now six. So I'm gonna write six. That's the first actual value of number. And then I've got int fact. So here's another declaration of another variable that we should keep track of, fact, as in factorial. Fact. And its initial value is one. Right, and we also have i, int i, that we need to keep track of, is also beginning at one, not zero, which makes sense if you're doing it with factorial, because you couldn't multiply everything by zero, you end up with zero. So now we get to some logic, while i, i is one, is less than or equal to number, number six is one less than six, yes. So we get in and we do the following two lines of code. One of them is to reassign fact. So fact becomes fact, its current value of one, times i. That's i, one. So it's one times one. So fact changes into being one. And you might say, if it didn't change, well, no, but something did happen there, so we need to keep track of it, and that's fair enough. So, and then i is going to go up by one. So i is going to go up to two. And then we get over here, and we're going to loop around. Is i still less than or equal to number? Let's see. i is now 2. Number is unchanged at 6. Is i less than or equal to number? Yes, 2 is less than or equal to 6. So this is still true. I'm going to go in and do this again. Fact is, you know, the current value of fact. It's going to be fact times i. So fact times i, 1 times 2, gives us 2. And so now, that actually achieves a change to the variable fact. i goes up by 1, so 2 changes to 3. And we go back up. Is i less than or equal to the number? Is 3 less than or equal to the number? Yes, it is. So fact changes again. It's going to become fact times i, 3, so it's going to be 2 times 3, it's going to be 6. Fact becomes 6. We go back up, we check our condition again. Is i less than or equal to the number? Is 3 now? Oh, did I do the i plus plus? I think I missed the i plus plus. Gotta be careful. I missed it. That i goes plus plus before we check the condition again. Is 4 now less than or equal to 6? Yes. So fact, which is now 6, equals 6 times 4. So this is going to become 24. I'm doing this a bit quicker now, but I think you can follow it. And, not forgetting, the i goes up by 1. Each time through the loop. So now, this next time through the loop, we got i is 5. Is 5 less than or equal to 6? Yes. So fact, which is now 24, equals 24 times i, which is 5. 24 times 5 is 120. 1, 2, 0. And not forgetting the i++. Plus plus. Oh, we're getting, getting close. While i is less than or equal to number, so this is still true, because i is equal to number, 
fact becomes fact, 120, times i. So 120 times 6 is going to be yeah, 720. That makes sense, 720. And then i plus plus does go to 7. It does actually reach 7. Whoa. Let's tidy that up a bit. 7. So one last time we go up here and we see if this is still true. Is i less than or equal to the number? i is now 7. is not less than or equal to 6. So this is now false. We finished our looping and we go down to our output. And the first time we see output, so we write the word output. This is the word I'm having the hardest time with today. Put. That's pretty good, I gotta say. Output is factorial of number, so factorial. I'm not gonna bother writing all this. Factorial of number. What's the number? Number is still six. Is, I can write is. Kind of. Fact, the ending value of fact is 700, with that big horizontal line again, 20. Factorial of 6 is 720. You know what I said I was going to do? 2. And I'll do 2. Okay, so you want to keep on watching, you keep on watching. Number 2, num count total. Glory. I don't think this is going to get millions of views. Count. And what was the last one? Total. Learning to print with Mr. Rayworth. Num count total. And so here we go, while count is less than or equal to num, I'll start, I'm not going to finish this, I'm going to start it though, okay? So while count is less than or equal to num, so, well, I did put what they were, so num started at 10, count started at 1, total started at 0. So, any outputs? Not until the very end. So while count is less than or equal to num, count is less than or equal to num, is 1 less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is. That's true. Same sort of thing here, right? This is the natural numbers rather than factorial. Total is assigned total plus count. Total is going to be zero plus count one. So total goes up to one. And count is the thing that goes up by one this time. So count goes to two. We go back up, we check the condition. Is count still less than or equal to num? Count is two. Num is 10. Yes. So total is assigned total was assigned total, which is 1, plus count, which is 2, which gives us 3. Not 3. And count goes up by 1. Just to get numbers that are a little bit uh, different, let's go a couple more times and that'll be it. So um, back up. Count less than or equal to num. Yes, 3 is less than or equal to 10. Total plus equals your total plus count, 3 plus 3, so total is going to go up to 6. Okay, the count's going to go up by 1. And it's going to keep on going up and up and up and up, and sooner or later, count's not going to be less than or equal to num, it's going to be 11 sooner or later. And by that time, we will have got uh, natural numbers, so 1, 3, 6, uh, 10, 15, uh, 20, I lost track, 21, 28, I think it's around 55, okay, or 54, I mean, one of those two, but that'll keep on changing as well as the count changes, but that's basically, oh, and Output, sorry. It's 
going to be this, basically, the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 55, if that indeed is correct. Okay. C'est ça. Um, I mean, I'd say c'est ça, non plus, fini, complet, it's, that, that's all, but watch it a couple of times. The, the big thing is, and I haven't said this yet in any context this particular semester, but you got to slow right down. Don't overthink it. Don't try to think about when you did natural numbers or factorials in, in math class. Just be a dumb computer. Be a computer where you just take one thing at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Just doing simple, 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 because that's all the computer can do. Right? It can add, it can assign, it can compare. That's basically it. That's all you're doing as you build up keeping track of these different values. And then at some point, you're going to be outputting whatever a certain value is. C'est ça.